Hey you, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Yubi. I use she, they pronouns, and this is Yubi Coming, a spiritual journey. In 2020, I experienced what many people call a spiritual awakening, and I had no idea what to expect. In search for answers, I realized no one had documented the behind-the-scenes process of this unknown process. Without giving it a second thought, my friend helped me purchase a camera and create this channel to show people what the healing process looks like when you're determined to get to the other side. The more I recorded, the more comfortable I got speaking up, but mostly I got comfortable speaking my truth. After many tears, heartbreaks, and breakthroughs, I can confidently say this journey has been worth it. Get ready to get triggered as you watch my transformation unfold. This daily video journey is nothing fancy, nothing professional, just real, unedited, secret experiences unleashed for the world to see. All I ask is for you to keep an open mind, listen, observe, and take notes because as I go through this process, I leave behind breadcrumbs to help you with your healing journey. Are you ready for what's next? It's still October 12th. I took a nap because I went to bed late and I woke up super early. And it's going to be a long day for clients. Um, it's just good to take naps during the day, you know, to just recover. But anyways, I woke up thinking on a couple of things. Um, so this friend of mine continues to have more dreams intense dreams and she's identifying like the themes trying to identify the themes right and a lot of it I mean I'm not too sure I haven't talked to her yet but she's been emailing me so I've been just thinking about themes because she's just like there's a theme there's a theme I'm trying to figure out the theme I'm like, well, they're healing dreams, right? They're evoking emotional experience. But anyways, I had mentioned to her how I am experiencing vertigo again. And I had mentioned to her that it's different. It's different than the first time. So then she, she asked me if it was different because I'm managing it better or if it's different because it's less or if it's both. So I thought about it. I'm like, well, I am managing it better. Like I'm not, because I'm learning, right, from that first experience to not sleep flat, to sleep sitting up. Even like, um, you know, when I bend down, like keep my face sit up, like, <laughs> you know, bend down like this versus looking down. Because when I look down, I, I, I feel it a little more. But still not, I noticed... It's not, to the, sorry, my packages, not to the same degree as um, last time. Because last time I could move and I would feel it. And I literally, I remember I just had to like keep myself still. Um, and there was more nausea and like I was, even my walks, right? I remember saying like I would walk super quick and now it's like, no, I can keep. I could keep it more or less. I've been walking longer distances. I was able to drive fine. Um, I did notice it yesterday when I was presenting, when I would look up and then down to write on the whiteboard, that kind of triggered it, but not to the intensity where I was falling over. Like the first time around, it was like, it felt like I was falling over. This one, it would just like trigger a little bit and I was like, oh, let me refocus, rebalance, and then I was fine. And so it's just not to the same intensity at all. But I'm also like, I am, I am more attentive to it. So I think it's a little bit of both. A little more of the, it's less than, than before. But I, I was waking up the dream was the same in terms of, because I've been practicing for tomorrow's presentation in day two of the program, and and it was still the same, like there was just this feeling of like going over the lines, going over the lines of the script. Oh, it me. But I, 
I woke up thinking about these last few dreams where I'm being shown an alternate outcome or, or an alternate uh, experience in my childhood, right? Like seeing like experiences that I never had, but still being emotionally evoked. So like the scene, the dream where I'm in high school, the feeling was that I was younger in high school and my mom like almost wasn't believing me or something about the sexual molestation and me feeling erratic, like me feeling very like triggered in that dream and where I grabbed a glass and I just like broke it and I was just like really mom really like like really upset that she she wasn't taking my side so there's that dream the other dream where um there's this futuristic feel to to the house that we're in or the apartment that we're in and my dad is there but my mom is trying to take us away trying to to sneak us out of the house and, and the feeling of like, we need to do it quietly so my dad doesn't wake up upset. And seeing the person that also like was a, my child molester and him crying, be, waking up seeing us sneak out and him crying because he knew what we were doing. That never happened in real life. <laughs> like, you know, my, we never, my mom never snuck us out of my dad's like house. And then the interesting thing, how that triggered within me, right? The review of the cycle of violence and how my dad would buy us right like there was so there was like a whiff of it but not really and then the other dream where i'm being forced there's this almost like forcing like the the arranged marriage type of thing and it's me instead of my cousin and then i'm turning to my aunt and um or my mom and saying like begging her like don't have me marry this person and then seeing my grandfather there and him looking at me and like that never happened to me in real life I, I don't remember him ever like eyeing me in a certain way but that the feeling was like ew I don't like the way you're looking at me type of feeling like I knew I knew what he was thinking about me or wanting to do with me was the like like the knowing so, so again, just having these other versions, other experiences that never really happened. And it's being triggered because the video that posted today was the one where I'm talking about my ex's transformation, where in that dream, he, one, is taking care of his health better, but two, the other thing that was highlighted in that dream was that he was more nurturing to me and more attentive to my needs, like my physical needs. Like I I was in the couch and he was like attending to my fingernails and just, just this nurturing feeling and attentiveness to detail, which was something I never, I didn't really receive from him in the years of our marriage. Like if anything, I was the one that was overly attentive, right? That's why it felt like I was his mom, because I'm just like, you know, what are you needing? Like, right? The traditional roles, right? And so I'm, I'm just, I'm wondering. I, I'm one. I'm trying to figure out why. I'm trying to figure out why. What? Because if they're not prescient dreams, if they're not prescient dreams where it's a potential future, then why else would I be? You know, and entertaining the idea that they're not going to be another future life cycle, you know, unless it is, or is it just so that I get a whiff or an ex uh, the emotional experience of how that might feel if it were to have turned out that way, because one of the in the next one i don't remember i haven't been looking at the videos all of the videos that i've been posting but i think one of the more recent ones was where i was um there was a like if the dream was that i was a foster child and 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 
and that I was with a lot of foster children and the feeling of of being a foster child like a feeling of lack of safety and security and 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 how it was in my foster mom's home that I felt safe and and the feeling of being kidnapped or taken away like like that clearly has never happened to me but it, so again I'm just wondering like and in that particular one I did right in there I'm like I wonder if I'm experiencing this so that I keep having that emotional knowing of what that feels like even though it wasn't something that I directly experienced in my 3d but more so in the 5d right if I'm entertaining the idea that the 5d which is like the dream state energy phase or, or level is helping me heal through my dreams through the energetic experiences I have in between the dream state and wake state then am I experiencing this so that I don't experience it in the future? And I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering. I'm, I'm trying, I'm just trying to figure out. <laughs> like, I know it's healing. I know it's healing. Punto. <laughs> like, that one's like all encompass healing, right? Dreams are just healing. That's the umbrella right even like what's her name says christina lobes like even prescient dreams she was saying are, are course corrections to a certain degree maybe for some people like the person who who kept seeing that he was going to crash it because he wasn't changing his ways right that's a potential future but it's also a course correction like hey wake up right or else this is going to happen to you and, 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 you know, I know my family, to a certain degree, watches some of my videos. So I wonder if it's also meant for them to see the other side, to see, you know, where they are or where they were in the experience, because I'm speaking the truth, right? Mm. Can they see the, like, right, like, my mom never left the marriage. It was my dad that left. So to trigger her, right? To, to look at that other side. Excuse me. Or, or for my ex to recognize like, hey, this this is what you need to, to work on, right? With this video that posted today about his transformation. Like, is this his, if he watches, I don't know. Like, the, these are some things that you need to work on, right? Like, I'm highlighting it through my dreams, maybe? It makes sense. Like, for my cousin, who settled, right? And, and just getting that perspective of her, I'm like, oh, she's different, but she's not attached in the dream. Else, who else? So I, I wonder. I wonder. So I, uh, I went. Someone must be in favor of my ex and I, or or my ex and I getting back together, or or someone liked that video, the one of um. Where I put my ex's transformation and, and in that particular video I talk about how you know anybody from my past could change right they have the potential to change and and the, the how in that dream it felt like we had a do-over and I don't think it's gonna happen because <laughs> my ex doesn't want to talk to me so but so I wonder I don't know I just I noticed that too. I was like oh someone like that I wonder if they like the fact that it's just a transformation. Oh, but, <laughs> excuse me. A transformation or the fact that um you know he's changing. But anyways, I have a client, so 
I just wanted to record that before I forget. Okay. Hey you, thanks for watching. Check out the description box under each episode below for additional thoughts and helpful links like my website, www.youbecominghealed.com, where I've gathered what I've learned and created self-paced online courses for you to access to help you get started on your healing journey. Oh, by the way, did I mention that I have over 20 years of experience in education and mental health? Rest assured these videos are from my past and I'm living on a different timeline. I also offer sessions to answer your questions regarding the courses I've created or to help you figure out your next steps. You can also find me on Instagram and creating side projects like podcast shorts and more on my other YouTube channel that is still a work in progress. But aren't we all? It's titled You Becoming Healed. Remember to click like, subscribe, and share the content if you found this piece of my journey helpful or just to show emotional support for someone who has chosen to live a transparent life that is never ending and always becoming. Until next time.